Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to Human Fish Simple. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about something um, that you guys ask me a lot and I've been getting requested to make this for a very long time. And I know that on YouTube, there's not many videos uh, explaining this in good detail. So today I'm gonna to try and do this as best I can. But today we're gonna to be talking about breeding angelfish, but in specific, we're gonna be talking about how to sex angelfish. So sexing is just telling the gender between a male and a female with the angelfish. Now, normally, this isn't as important for people who have a bunch of angelfish because what will normally happen is the way they breed is they pair off and you don't really need to selectively pick a male and a female. But I know that I've done it in the past and you can do it. You can take a male and a female and kind of force them to breed and they won't breed forever, but they might breed a few times and it can get you started up on a new colony of angelfish that you can breed in the future. But today I'm gonna to be talking about how to, how to sex them and without any further ado, let's get started. So what you're looking at here is my angelfish tank. Now this is a 220 liter angelfish tank. I've got six of them in here. I got these guys when they were about 25 cent piece size and now they are very big, like not that big, but pretty big. They're breeding size now and they've just started to begin breeding. So I've got two pairs. These two are a pair and then I think these two are a pair and then there's two little runts here that are kind of always left out. Um, as you can see here, there's a little bit of aggression and these guys are kind of hanging around this back area, which means they are breeding and they've definitely, uh, they've bred a few times here. They've bred on one of these leaves and they've bred on another one of them and I cut it out. If you're wondering, I've got a jar with these guys hatching. So you can see down below, there's a whole bunch of these wrigglers. That's really cool to look at actually. But without any further ado, let's talk about it. So it's really hard to sex angelfish because they look so similar. So right from the get go, I'm going to explain that's a male and that's a female. And I'm not just saying that because they are a breeding pair and I've seen them breed. I could tell that they're a male and a female from the start. So one thing that I've noticed is, this is quite uncommon with a lot of species in the wild, but the males are normally a little bit bigger. Uh, and that's just from my experience. I don't know if any other people keeping aquariums have noticed this, but this male here is definitely bigger than that female back there. And that's because, well, just obviously it looks, he just looks a lot bigger. And then, the most important thing that I'm going to mention now, and this is what everyone really needs to get their pens and papers out and take notes of, is this little piece down below. So this is where they breed from. If he's going to cooperate, that'd be good. But you can see right there, there's a little kind of pin. Now that's what he uses to fertilize the eggs. Um, and then down here, she's also got one. So females always have this thing here. Now this is really, really profound right now because they have bred a couple of days ago, so it's quite like easy to tell. I'm gonna try and see here on fish that haven't bred, whether they are male or female. So this guy here is definitely a female. You can see by the bottom of her, she's quite beaten up, but you can see by the bottom of her, in between those two uh, fins down the, like I don't even know what they're called. You can see right there, there's a real good point there. And that's quite a thick point compared to this one here on this fish. So that's the way you tell. Um, basically size and that little thing is all you can do. You kind of get better at it as you breed angelfish. It's really hard to pick in a pet store and it's really hard to tell when they're young. Once they get a bit older, it's easier to tell. Right here, we have a female. That's another female. Female. Male. Male. And female. So that's why I've only got two breeding pairs. I've got four females and two males. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. I've tried to explain this as well as I can. It's really an art and it's really hard to explain. That is the best way to do it. Um, if you guys have any other methods, please drop them in the comments below. Like, <laughs> that's really all the information I can give you today. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I'll see you in the next one.